All right, that was Kayla Sinclair with her song, Original Sin. We are coming at you live on DentonRadio.com. If you are listening on the app, hop over to Facebook because it is now officially Denton Radio in the Morning, our morning show where we give you all the information on everything Denton. Start your day the Denton way. All right, I'm riding solo this morning. I'm Jake Laughlin. Normally I have Isabel and Nicole with me, but uh, the two of them have other obligations and things that they had to get taken care of this morning and so they're out spreading the the Denton word in a lot of other places this morning so it's just me unfortunately <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and start things off the way we always do we start off from the discoverdenton.com calendar if you don't know DentonRadio.com comes to you live inside the Discover Denton Welcome Center, which is Denton's Information Center. This is the place where you can find out all things Denton. If you go to our website, DiscoverDenton.com, you're going to find the most comprehensive calendar in all of Denton. It's going to have a full list of all the happenings happening across the city, all genres, all events, music, yoga, art, this, that. Check it out, Discover Denton. Com. All right, just a few things from the calendar today. Giovanni Valderez, uh, Conspicuous Craft over at the PAC Center, the Patterson Appleton Arts Center. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. That's at the Murkison Performing Arts Center. That's over at UNT. Happening over at the PAC, the Patterson Appleton Arts Center, which is just about a block from the Welcome Center, is Heroes in the Making. The Art of Comic Production, that exhibit is still going on. It's really, really cool. You've got to check it out. All right, let's see. Uh, this is not a woman at Tad uh, Young Jun uh, Yundi Lee. Is also happening at the Patterson Appleton Arts Center. Uh, also works by Randy Guthmiller. They are full of exhibits right now. T uh, Texas Women's University Pioneer Power Speakers Meeting. It's happening today at 1230. We also have tree lighting and grant ceremony at the Texas Motor Speedway. Open mic happening right here in the Discovered It and Wel Welcome Center tonight, hosted by our own Ellie Meyer. Let's see, Tuesdays with Karma Yoga at Springbrook Academy. Uh, also, we've got College Night with DJ Double at the Abbey Underground and Musical Tuesdays at Agua Dulce. See, there's a few other things going on here. We've got Real Texas Radio's live broadcast happening at LSA, the weekly social ride at Dan Silverleaf, the concert choir at the Winspear Performance Hall. That's another UNT one. Uh, Spectrum, new works from North Texas, another UNT event, and the UNT Concert Choir. Again, that's just some of the things happening today. Go to discoverdenton.com for full details, times, all those kind of things, and we'll get you hooked up. Again, we are coming at you live on Facebook, so if you have the opportunity to hop over there and want to see our bright, shining faces, well, it's not our this morning, it's just me, but, <laughs> but we love to interact over there and get to talk with you guys and go back and forth, so comment on the video and uh, be a part of the show this morning. All right, jumping into our next segment. Normally what we do is we take turns uh, sharing some of the things that we love around the city, some of the things that we want to highlight. And I've got to talk more. I know I've talked about it every day for quite a few days, is the uh, Holiday Lighting Festival coming up this Friday. Uh, it's just going to be such an amazing, amazing event. We're expecting about 15,000 people. It's the biggest event that the Square does all year. And people from all over come to Denton to celebrate the holidays together. We have Santa come in. He comes and, and lights up the tree with uh, a, a child that he picks out. We've got live music. And, of course, there's Wassel Fest happening. All of the shops around the square give out free Wassel, which is basically hot apple cider. And people will, will trade it out and try it and test this and try that. And they'll all get to choose their favorite Wassel, and you'll get to vote. Now, voting happens right here at the Discovered It and Welcome Center. Again, this is this Friday evening. This is something you don't want to miss. Why has Jake chosen this? this to be his event highlight every time he's done event highlights for the last several event highlights because it's awesome it's going to be a really 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 great time we are so looking forward to it oh hey ellie see ellie is our wonderful facebook uh participant every day and uh, we always love to hear from her so good to, good to have you listening ellie uh sorry the rest of the people aren't here but <laughs> but they'll be back tomorrow all right Jumping back in, we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back to talk a little more about what's happening at the Welcome Center. We're going to hear from Denton Record Chronicle, a few other things like that. Uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and hear from Ellie Meyer, and uh, we'll be right back.
Hey Denton, Ellie Meyer here. Make sure to tune in to DentonRadio.com online or view us on our Facebook page to see my show, Microphone Diaries, every Thursday from 6 to 7 p.m. right here in the DentonRadio.com studios. Another event you can participate in or check out is Open Mic at LSA Burger every Monday night from 7 to 10 p.m. hosted by Denton Radio's own Bone Doggy. These event highlights are brought to you by TWU, opening doors to higher education, Texas Women's University has one of the most diverse student populations. It's ranked among the top three in Texas and top ten in the nation. Learn more about Texas Women's at www.two.edu. All right, that was from our own Ellie Meyer. Again, she's going to be hosting open mic here in the Discovered and Welcome Center. So make sure you come by tonight, and she'll get you taken care of. All right. Now, one of our wonderful, wonderful partners that we always love to work with is the Denton Record Chronicle. These guys are a fantastic, fantastic news source. It's a daily reminder of why you live here, or if you don't live here, why you should. So <laughs> make sure you check it out. You can either go to DentonRC.com. You can come down to the Discover Denton Welcome Center or a lot of the local convenience stores and places like that, and they'll get you hooked up with one. Or, of course, you can just have it sent right to your house. Again, you can do that at DentonRC.com. Okay, so we're going to go into some of the top stories from today. We're not going to go into the stories. We're just going into the titles. And so if something you hear, you go, mm, I, need to, I need to go check that out, make sure you do. All right, again, DentonRC. Com. All right, from the Denton Record Chronicle, uh, Trump drama ro uh, roils his transition to White House. A student injures 11 at Ohio State. Uh, birth control policies get look. Traveling exhibit opens. Uh, County MHMR needs help to fill wish lists. Uh, let's see. Slain San Antonio officer buried. Uh, make highway travel fair for all. Trump's personal ethics bode ill for Americans. Let's see. And then, of course, if you want the lighter side, you got the funnies. So, <laughs> so, again, check out the Denton Record Chronicle. It's always a good way to start the day when you get to pull up the real paper, get your fingers on it, and, uh, and really go through the news. It's, it, again, great way to start the day when you kick back with a cup of coffee. We have bookish coffee here, locally roasted Denton coffee. If you want to come by the Welcome Center, we'll get you a cup of that and a Record Chronicle, and we'll get you all hooked up. On that same note, I had an interview yesterday with Brett Vito of the Denton Record Chronicle. He was talking Denton sports. Specifically, is UNT going to make a bowl game? Now, last year, well, we didn't do so hot, but that's life. Sometimes that just happens, right? So this year, we ended up with a new coach, a new athletic director, a lot of new changes. And so everybody said, okay, you know, this is a positive change, stuff like that. But you got to give those things time. You know, I, I don't know if anybody expected such an amazing year, but we really had a great season. Uh, it was really, really, really fun. And, oh, th <laughs> thank you, Jacob. I appreciate it. All right. So, <laughs> again, you can hop over to Facebook and jump in on all the comments and all the stuff, and, uh, and we'll, we'll talk back with you and interact and all that good stuff. So, uh, again, Nobody expected UNT to be doing so well, it was, and we've really had a wonderful year. So congratulations to all those guys. Really, you've had a, f a spectacular year, bowl game or no. Uh, but if you want to know if UNT is going to get to a bowl game, make sure you go check out that interview. Again, you can go to Facebook.com slash Denton Radio if you're listening on the app. And if you're watching us already, well, then just scroll on down, and you can watch that video. Again, it's, it's pinned to the top of our page today, so make sure you check it out. All right. Moving forward, we're getting to the end of Denton Radio in the morning. Again, there's only me today, so, <laughs> so it's a bit of a shorter show. But uh, we always like to highlight some of the things happening right here in the Discover Denton Welcome Center. And our, well, the, the one that I really want to talk about the most is open mic. Ellie Meyer does such a great open mic here. If you've never done an open mic before, basically we just do that. We open up the microphone to all. All right, if you want to sing, if you want to play guitar, if you want to do whatever, come on up here. We'll hook you up. Sound system's provided. It's free sign up, and we'll give you about 10, 20, 15 minutes, about four songs-ish for you to play, depending on how many people sign up. Now, we've got a very full list, but we'll find you a spot. Come on down, and we'll make it work. 
Okay, again, Ellie Meyer hosts this thing every Tuesday starting at 6, and it goes all the way till 9 o'clock. So come on down. This is your great opportunity. Now, we didn't start another open mic just to start another open mic because there's open mics everywhere. There's a lot of them. And so what we have is a list of all of the open mics happening around town. What we wanted to do is more put an open mic online, something you could watch, really check out. And if you like this format, if you like the, the ability to, to see new newcomers really get to do their stuff or see a seasoned musician that wants to try out a new song or, or whatever, you have opportunities to see open mics everywhere. They're all over the place. So we wanted to, to give you a little taste of what an open mic is and then give you a list of all the great places where you can go check those out. So make sure you come on by the Discover Denton Welcome Center tonight or you can tune in on Facebook and on DentonRadio.com to, uh, to see it all, to see it all and to hear it all. All right, that's one I'm really, really excited about. Also today, I have Monty Jensen of the Main Street Association coming in here to the studio to, uh, to talk about Wassel Fest. We talked a little about that earlier, uh, but uh, it's just going to be really, really cool. And you got to get all the details from Monty himself, the man that makes it all happen. Um, so that's going to be a great interview. Stay tuned on Facebook for that. Uh, again, we have holiday lighting happening this weekend. Uh, it's going to be really, really cool. We've got some very cool stops coming. Uh, cookies by Design is coming out. So along with your wassail, you're going to be getting cookies. We're going to have Santa in the studio on Friday in the morning. He's coming to Denton early just so he can come by Denton Radio. He's going to come into the studio. He's going to be talking about Christmas, what his plans are, why he's coming to Denton. It's going to be super cool. And then, of course, if you stick around, you're going to see him grab a kid, and they're going to turn on the lights, signifying the true start of the holiday season here in Denton. You do not want to miss the Holiday Lighting Festival. It's just going to be too cool. A uh, lot of great stuff coming. Again, go to discoverdenton.com. You can find a lot more information about all the great things happening here at the Discover Denton Welcome Center on dentonradio.com and, of course, across the whole city. Tomorrow we will have Isabel and Nicole back in studio with me, so don't worry. So <laughs> again, we will be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. We do this every day, Monday through Friday, starting your day the Denton way with a little information about what's happening here around town. We're going to jump back into the music. Uh, let's see. We're going to play Hairs on the Mountain. This is their song, Lambs from the Fold. You heard it here first on DentonRadio.com.